Hey, welcome. Today we're going to be playing some, uh, as the title reads, Titan Shift in uh, Modern League. And um, hopefully we can get our last remaining six followers so we can do our Chromox giveaway. Oh, let's get rid of that. Sorry about that. And that quick, I lose a viewer. All right, let's get into this. Absolutely, I want to play first. Put the chat box over here. And that's a keep. Spend that and go ahead. Let's see, what have you got, SCG Blue? You're playing blue? If not, you're a phony. Your name's a lion, you should change it. I wonder if you're even associated with Star City Games. Probably just put it in there. I like Star City Games, and I like the color blue. Let's do this. What could he be thinking about right now? I played a basic forest and suspended search for tomorrow. What could he be considering? Next turn is just going to be tribe out or pass, and then tribe out or pass. Need to at least get one more forest. Everything else can be basic mountains. I run enough in the deck. Um, total mountain count for this is 13. Uh, he must have been away. Shivan Reef. Okay. Spell Sky. Um, spell snare is kind of a concern right here, but, and it just resolves. All right. So next turn probably won't be the second, uh, tribe elder. It will probably be the, uh, spell skite just for target of removal. Thing in the ice. Okay. Actually, I'm not overly concerned with it now. I'll go ahead and sack Tribe Outer though. And there's our Summoner's Pact. I'll get Tribe Outer out. Spell Skite. Valakut. Pass. So next turn will be pretty straightforward. Um, end of this turn, I'm going to sacrifice Tribe Elder, uh, get a third mountain, and then cast uh, Summon Respect into Primeval Titan on my main phase. Get um, probably uh, two Cinder Glades or two Stomping Grounds. Just so then Valakut can be active. Oof. 
Well, that sucks. I'm probably going to be losing. So I could Summoner's Pact in response. It'll slow me down for a turn. And I think I'm going to. I'm okay with him taking Bolt. Um, still gonna go ahead and move forward with the Sacking Tribe Elder. It slowed me down a turn, but it saved everything. See what's he got for a follow up? Thoughtsies. I don't know if any of you guys saw the results from the uh, GP this past weekend, but uh, GP Taipei was dominated by Bant Company and uh, Green White Tokens. It was stupid. I think Bant Company had five spots, Green White Tokens had two. And uh, a red-green ramp deck ended up making it into the top eight. <clears throat> Not the diversity that we're used to seeing here. All right, so we got Connie Hard Expedition. I could cast that and pass because I feel like I'm walking to a counter spell with Primeval Titan. Okay, command. Oh, no. Dismember. Okay. Probably has maybe a Terminator or something. Staying consistent with he has counter magic. Need to be patient, need to wait for him to make the mistake. <coughs> oh, there's another Valakut. Now he has a full grip. I'm just going to keep playing lands. So now the pressure is kind of on him because if I hit one more land drop, I'll be able to crack Connie Hart Expedition. So what's he going to do? So I get another mountain, then Connie Hart's going to come down and deal, uh, it's going to deal 12. And he knows he's close. I'll just go for it. I got a second one.
Maybe there wasn't a counter. And he's just holding up uh, counter magic. No, there it is. What's he got? Remand? Oh, mana leak. Okay. Fetch lane would be real nice. A fetch would end the game right now. Fetch would be land number three for Connie Hart. Connie Hart cracks. Two mountains come into play. Both acknowledge 12 damage, then uh, fetch. He's leaving up all mana. Uh, that's good enough. I, um, I could play around another mana leak here. Yes. And yeah. All right. I don't think he's on Liliana the Veil, but uh, we could definitely give it a shot. Let's see. Um. Not so much in the way of artifacts or that. Don't need sudden shock. Spellskite might be a concern. And I can also use that to blow up my own stuff to gain life. Um, crumble's not an issue. Anger, sudden shock. Okay, so let's get rid of... I'll drop... One Titan for the Bayloth. One Colony Heart. One Farseek. And one... Search for Tomorrow. And those are pretty much the main things that I shave. If I'm bringing in Bayloth, I'm going to be shaving a uh, Primeval Titan. And then um, bringing in more answers for their game. I can kind of slow mine down a little bit by just shaving my four ofs. And then Farseek is... Farseek isn't the worst of my mana ramps. But it, you know, entering the battlefield tapped over the um, Search for Tomorrow. One reason it's only three of instead of four. And then whenever I bring another answers for these decks, it's okay for me to go down to two. Waiting for the next one to queue up. Come on. There we go. Took you long enough. Alright, um... Cinder Glade into... Forced and uh, Tribe Elder. Maybe. We'll see what he starts with. Temple of Malice.
See, if this was game one, I would immediately put him on Griffel Brand. And there's Scape Shift, so that's good. Then I'd see River of Tears and I'd just be very, very thrown off. Let's see if it sticks. Hey, we've got ramp one. Now I want to hold off on playing Valica just because I don't know if he has any kind of land destruction and that would just completely destroy my game plan if I were to throw him down. I'm going to get in for one. Get there, Steve. Get there. Yeah, there we go. And... No need. Snap bolt. I discard a card. And you're going to deal two damage to me. Hmm. Okay. Uh. Discard the forest or the bolt? I'll discard the bolt. I want to keep my land for scape shift. I need to play around mana leak. I'll get him at 18 on this next attack. Oh, hey, there's a summoner's pact. I'll play land. There we go. There's that magic 18. Just, he's just on the burn plan right now. I might have to see about uh, Obstinate Bailoth. Especially if he tries to K-command me again. So he's got two in hand right now. I'll go for prime time first. Actually five, six, seven. No, I'll go for uh, Scape Shift first. The play around Mana Leak. One, two, three, four. That'd be five. Still have eight mountains. Yeah. Snap. Okay. Collagen's command.
Okay. You're gonna cast Colligan's command. He only has one in hand. Okay, so he's going to have me discard, so this time I am going to... Discard Summoner's Pact. Because I think I have it next turn. Play to land. Okay. Kept up two mana. More than likely for mana lake. Ah, oh, negate. Boo hoo hoo. Yep. That'll do it. That will do it. Uh, I called the wrong counter spell. Alright. Um, we're going to run that one through again. That's the only bad thing, is just, I mean, permission with this deck is can be painful. Um, that's where a lot of people think that the bring to light version or your normal rug version of um, Scape Shift is better. So we're currently at one and one now going into game three. I'm pretty excited about some of the new spoilers. Um, the Eldritch Evolution looks like it could fit into one of the variants for the Titan Shift list and the uh, mainly the um, Red Green Valakut with uh, Through the Breach and um, Oracle of Delmaya because you can um, Eldritch Evolution Oracle of Delmaya into a Primeval Titan. And um, if you don't know what the card reads, um, Oracle or uh, Eldritch Evolution is a this is an odd keep just because of all the fetches I'll be able to turn Connie Hard on and I'll be able to get a lot of Alica triggers um, anyways in addition to casting uh, Eldritch Evolution sacrifice a creature search your library for a creature convert a mana cost X or X is 2 plus the convert a mana cost of the uh, creature you sacrificed. So we're gonna. Do that. Uh. That's, excuse me here, my glasses are broken. I'm currently waiting for my next prescription to come in. Alright, now I can use all of my fetches strictly for Connie Hart Expedition.
Prismatic Omen would be amazing. Okay. Thankfully, I do have uh, Nature's Claims in also, so I'll be able to blow that up if I draw into them. We got Lightning Bolt. Ooh, and a search for tomorrow. Nice. Get in, have him in scape shift range. Um, next turn, I'll play Valakut, and then I'm going to. Um, I'm just going to keep attacking here with the tribe outer. And another mountain. I'm flooding out hard. He's just holding up counter magic. Um, I'm going to keep Tribe Elder on the field. Sure. Really no need to use that right now. Um, continue to thin. So now he's three damage when he gets sacrificed. That's another six. So that'll be the first one to go. And then him and then the fetch. So I got 12 damage right now. And keep swinging in. Three, six, nine, twelve. Yeah, he's gonna bolt me again. That's all he's been doing. Twelve, that puts him at four. Another one puts him at one. Thing in the ice, okay. Okay. 
and put them at 10. I'm going to hold hold up the uh, wooded foothills just for that reason. Um, so next turn, we'll be able to kill him just by playing lands. He's not going to be able to deal 9 damage to prevent me from fetching. So he's going to bolt me down to 7. I guess this is a good way to play around counter magic. Just play lands. Uh, thanks for joining me tonight, guys. Um, tonight, throughout this Modern League, I'm hoping to pick up at least six more followers. And whenever we can get to that, then we will be uh, doing a Chromox giveaway. And um, I'll choose one of my random followers. And then I'll send you guys a message here on Twitch so I can get your mailing address. And you'll get a Chromox and some other uh, Snapcast paraphernalia. Thunder Maw Hellkite. That pretty much seals my win. Ooh, no, it does not. He still has Bolt up. Okay. Down to two. And he's going to bolt now. And in response, I lose. Bolt and kill. What are you waiting for? Not exactly sure what he's doing. Or what exactly he's thinking right now. He has the imprinted bolt. Why isn't he using it? Okay. Hmm. Bolt in response, yep. Because there's nothing I can do. And I'll do it. That sucks. All right, we'll move on. That was a pretty sketch hand to keep. Um, I had five lands, the Connie Hart Expedition, and the uh, Scar Tribe Elder. With the five lands, I had three fetches, um, Stomping Ground, and Valakut. So I did see a slow game route, and really I was just hoping to get that Nature's Claim in order to blow up his, uh, his Bolt Thrower. We'll go ahead, though. We'll get into uh, match number two. What do you guys think of the latest spoilers that uh, they've been releasing for Eldritch Moon? We got Donate back. Um, him to Torok with Delirium is back. So you got random discard. 
the meld mechanics on some of these are just ridiculous, I feel. Um, I really like the uh, Angels, uh, Jalissa and uh, Bruna. And then you got a couple cards too. Uh, no, just flip on their own. We're not really on their own, but uh, Lone Rider, for instance. You can Ojitai's Command, Lone Rider. Get him on the battlefield, gain four life, flip him. And it's it's pretty nice. Um, Goblin Rabble Master, pretty much reprinted in almost two forms. Uh, in that we have the um, the Handwear Battlement as well as the uh, the Eldrazi Handwear uh, Township Horror. I can't remember the exact name of the card. But both of them, whenever they attack, they put in uh, dudes attacking with them. So just more good stuff for uh, for red, red white. Um, I could definitely see using that in a uh, like a red green monsters build, which is what I'm trying to start brewing right now. Just trying to figure out what's going to be good. How can I get back to my roots? I don't mind red green right now with the red green ramp with uh like Eldrazi and Sylvan Advocate and um like Dragon Lord of Tarka. I love me some Dragon Lord of Tarka. Uh, some damn glasses. Well, here we go. Got another match. Just go like that. Hopefully it doesn't look too absurd. Alright. Lost the roll. Gonna be playing second. Come on. Come on, Adjo Padro. It's not that difficult. I think, you, there we go. Um, Spellskite for early protection. Two Titans. And search for tomorrow. I'll keep. Turn one search. Hopefully we don't miss land drops. Uh, really starting off with Mishra's Bobble. What else are you doing? What else are you doing? on it, anything. Do something. You're on tap, sacrifice, and look at the top card of my library, the draw card. Turn my upkeep, go for it. Do something. There we go. Oh, now he's moving along. Suicide Zoo. So we got Bolt. Um, I'll go ahead and suspend that. I'll cast Spell Sky next turn. All he saw was the bolt. He doesn't. He doesn't. Or he didn't know what I was on. <clears throat> uh. 
All right. Another wild Nakado coming down next. You gonna draw a goblin guide? What are you doing? Another bobble. Okay. No land. That's whatever. That's bugging me. Another stomping ground. Um, I'm going to get the spouse guy down. Before any pump, he might be trying to throw at it. Probe. I welcome to my hand. Next turn I'm at all of the mana. Oh, you're just drawing the cards. You got two street rates in the bin now. Um, Unigenic growth? No. Are you dumb? Hang on. All right. Take that. Thanks. What if he just didn't fully understand Spellskite there? He's got six in hand now. I just throw bolt at him. I just need to keep playing lands and passing. Prime time comes down next turn. Yeah, all right. Spell Sky destroyed in that game. All right. Um. Sudden shocks are gonna come in. Um. Not tribe elder. Get rid of a search and get rid of a Coney Heart. Um, I could bring in Nature's Claims to try to help out my own life total. Uh, with him being aggro, I am bringing in Obstinate Bayloth. I want to get rid of a Titan and a Farseek. So I want to keep the burn to try to keep his creatures low if he starts going wide. But he doesn't run many. Um, and then the Obstinate Bayloth's the obvious life gain. And it gives me an earlier creature to drop as well. Um, still keeping the main aspect of the deck intact with this. So we're going to go ahead and submit. Let's do this. Ah, uh, so slow. But I got Bayloth. I've got Spellskite. 
I can open up with Valakut, and I need biggest thing is I just need to stick uh, spell Skype. Shock. Bobble. Sack Bobble. Thoughtseize. Okay. That's a lot for him to try to decide on. Do you get rid of Spell Sky? The Bayloth? The Titan? He went with Spell Sky. Spell Skite's his biggest threat right now. Okay. So with that, then I'm going to get uh, search for tomorrow out immediately. Uh, I have scape shift, and um, oh god, I'll shock myself here. Yeah, it's a little counterproductive. But I want the mountain source also. All right, six in hand. What do you got going? Shock. McConnell. Thought sees again. Escape shift or Titan. Ha, huh, thanks. <laughs> I I almost feel bad because he doesn't know what these cards do. That and that's just his second example of it. Um Spell Skite. Um he didn't know about the ability and the biggest thing is he's not reading cards. So, I mean, that just helped me out. Or he wanted to just get it over with, maybe. He doesn't see uh, Titan as a major threat right now. Um, it's risky throwing that down. No, it's not. He's not going to be able to play Crumble. That sees again. Go for it, buddy. Jeez. I mean, hand disruption sucks for me, but down to 10. Guess they don't call it Suicide Zoo for nothing. Get probe. And no attacks. We need a forced. And we got another forest. Right. So he's got two in hand. He has to figure out a way to kill me. Um, trying to think worst comes to worst. You've got become immense. Oh no, he's just got another wild coddle. And a swiss spear. So he's just gone wide at this point. Ah, oh, man. He's got one card in hand. I could just start pounding in there. Ah, oh, those are three threes. I'd only kill one. But with any of his pumps, though, none of them die. Not even Swiss Spear. Okay. Um, currently a 2-3. Do I block here? Do I? He's got two cards in hand. I'm looking at 2, 4, 6. Takes me to 15. Do I think he can double up on any damage. F. Um, yeah, I'll block there. That 
That was actually kind of a waste. Just to keep a creature alive. I, I definitely would have thrown it over here. Because, I mean, he didn't get trampled from it. And he needs to deal 16 damage to me this turn. Or he dies. You got it? Nope. Good game. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Game. Yep. There we go. And that was that. That was Suicide Zoo. Um, I feel like the extra thought sees has hurt him, not because he was taking damage, but just because he could have valued them being something other than the thought seizes, pump spells, anything like that. Um, he definitely messed up in trying to get me to discard at, um, Obstinate Bayloth. So. Oh, man. But uh, we'll play through, though. We've got three more matches to go. We'll keep this up. Um, hopefully we'll be able to get six more followers, so then we'll be able to give away this Chrome Mox here. The biggest one is at 75. At 75 followers, we're going to be giving away a Jace the Mind Sculptor, and that's really where it's at. But I can't just throw him away at 25. No, no, no. We'll start small, we'll work our way up. We also have some YouTube giveaways going too. If you want to check out our YouTube channel, uh, we should have the link right below. Let you know what those giveaways are if you watch the uh, latest in um, our uh, leak videos with Titan Shift. Um, I discussed the giveaway there, how many people we need, and things like that. Again, just all based on followers. We're trying to get more and more people to hear about our website, hear about our uh, podcast, and that. And what's not a better way than to help you guys out, the listeners, by giving you guys stuff? But uh, you can check out our website. It's also below under the uh, podcast um, banner. Social media, we're on Facebook, we're on YouTube. Um, Twitter, not so much. Sorry. And we are not on the play. Let's see what we got this time. Search for Tamara Valakut, Scape Shifts, really nothing else, but we are going to keep, and hope it's not an aggro deck. There we go. Oh man, my favorite thing ever, a mountain. All right, we're good. Thalia, prison, F. Okay. So, ah, no, nah, even if he drops the second Thalia, it'll be fine. Noble Hierarch. Noble Hierarch, Thalia's crashing in for four.
all of the Valakuts. So we've got roughly four turns. Cavern of Souls, naming humans. Sacrifice. When target creatures put into a graveyard from the battlefield this turn, return that creature card to the battlefield. Okay. Just a way to protect Dahlia. And Manus Rider. Okay. Anger of the Gods will definitely be coming into this matchup. I have two more turns. I need. Ah, oh, jeez. I need ramp. That's what I need. That's not it. I still have one more shot. One more chance. Oh no, he's at 20. I don't. That's going to be it. Flooded hard. What's he got going? Show me more. Yep. GG's. Alright. Angers are coming in. Um, sudden shocks aren't needed here. I'm going to get rid of a bolt. Connie. Search. And Farseek. Um, most of his stuff had evasion. Uh, Bayloth would be good for... No, just incident life gain. I think I'm going to keep the bolt. Just to try to maintain board control. Absolutely, I want to play first. The only reason I want to keep this is because of the angers, but this is a trap hand. I'm going to got five lands. I've got bolt. I've got anger, but I've got nothing else. Screw it. Let's keep. Come on. There we go. We'll get Cedric Glade. And their escape shift. Uh, should have led with Valakut on that one. That's fine. We'll get a forest here. We'll kill Thalia right now. Oh, Prismatic Omen. They're so good to me. Ooh. Now what do you exile? Do you take anger or do you take scape shift? Good call. I love this right now with Prismatic Omen and the three Valakuts because just each land is going to be doing house. Another Sin Collector. Um, again, I can make him choose. 
just because my lands are about to start owning him. Or I could send collect or uh, summoner's pact here, pull up Titan, and uh, force him to draw or force him to take anger. But I want him to make that choice. It's always kind of good to test your opponent there. Okay. I'll take it. Search for tomorrow. This is fun. So now this one forced. Kill. Kill. Three at him. And now next turn I'll be able to play uh, Summoner's Pact, Drop Titan, and that will kill him. Mm. Name a... Just a non-land card. So either way I'm screwed on this one. He knows I have Summoner Pact. And um, if I just go for Primeval Titan, that's going to be that. Summon Respect, yep. Okay. Cast another search for tomorrow. Get another forest. Kill Meddling Mage. Deal six to him. What are your guys' thoughts on this deck? Uh, do you think this could be... Like, where do you think it sits on the tiers? Do you think this is a tier 1? Do you think it's tier 1.5? Tier 2? Fringe? What do you think? He's doing everything just to keep that out of my hand. That's fine. Mountain. Kill you. Damage to you. Damage to you. Cast. Titan. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to keep what I have. So the biggest thing there was just, I mean, I got really lucky with hitting a Prismatic Omen and having the three Valor Cuts in hand. I guess you could say that's, you know, why I kept a five lander. Because that out does exist in this deck. Um... I have the summoner specs, I have the scape shifts, so I have multiple ways to make those heavy land hands work. And here's another good one here with Far Seek, Expedi um, Colony Heart Expedition, and Summoner Pact, and I got the fetch land. So it'll be uh, turn two, Colony Heart. Now open up with Valakut. Thalia, okay. Since that's the case, I'll go ahead and uh, drop Cinderglade. Uh, what card is he naming? What what card cannot be cast? Anger of the gods. Okay, so he's he's creature heavy right now. Oh. 
Where did I tap wrong? There we go. clock Can I do this? I think I have to. What's he doing? There we go. There we go. That's how you play around that. It's got another Thalia. That's fine. I'll be able to kill it. I have eight land on field. Thalia, you're dead. Alright, so that would be 6, and then the far seek would be 12 total. Um, that's definitely worth it. And that's one reason I went to uh, Farseek over Explore, was um, with the Explore, you don't get the guaranteed land drop. Sure, you get the cantrip out of it, but with Farseek, you're guaranteed to hit the land drop, and it's just devastating. 
And there we are. We're sitting at a two and one right now. Go ahead. We got two more matches to go. Uh, if you want to see more Titan Shift action, if you want to see a deck tech, uh, please check us out on YouTube. Um, again, that link is just right below. Um, you know, like, subscribe, give us some feedback. Let us know what we're doing good, what we're not doing good. Um, also, check out our website at uh, www.thesnapcast.com. Again, there's a link below. And um, every week we post podcasts about just pretty much covering the realm of competitive magic. Uh, we do tournament updates, uh, wh how we think the meta is shifting, what we think is going to be good, what we think is not going to be good, what we would do to prepare for different GPs, tournaments, and things like that. And then we get into um, our second segment is always something different. Uh, we talk about spoiler season. We talk about deck brewing with the new uh, cards. We talk about how to improve your game. Um, sometimes we just do random conversations but it is all magic related and if there's anything that you have questions about anything you would like to hear please let us know and we'll definitely do the research and we'll get ready for that topic and um of course we're here on twitch and with uh six more followers we'll be giving away a chrome box and then once we hit the um 75 mark for followers we'll be giving away a jace the mind sculptor um so definitely stick around for that and if you're not following please go ahead and do so it's not difficult you know obviously you're not paying anything it's not a subscription or anything along those lines and then you'll be able to watch not just me play but also the other guys of the snapcast play they're still getting things set up um we're pretty new to streaming and um i'm sure you'll see it it's it's kind of clunky we're we're trying to get there but um we're definitely expanding out to how we can get you guys the information that we wish we had when we first started playing competitive magic just because it's for those who have been in it for a long time we hope that we can show you guys the competitive decks how we play them um, what we think is good what we think is not good and we can help you prepare for tournaments that way for the newer guys who are just getting into competitive magic that's our main target audience we're trying to help you guys make that big step because it's a blast playing competitive magic it's just it's so much fun um we really enjoy it uh, the traveling you get to do the friends that you make on the tournament scene because you'll see them you'll see your grinders out there um i'm down in southern georgia i have recently flown to pittsburgh i have been to oh, this is a keep i've been to cincinnati i've been to cleveland uh the baltimore area multiple times washington dc charlotte um, Atlanta, Orlando, Tampa Bay, Florida. It's the travel is great, and if you have a good community also in your area, it's not that expensive. It looks like Tron. It's Tron. All right, and a good thing is he didn't start on Tron piece. Um, so we're gonna go ahead. We're just going to uh, filter down, and then we'll get a tribe outer out. But he does have ghost quarters. Oh, there's prime time. Hey, buddy. And he still doesn't have a Tron piece. That that makes me happy. Uh, so he's picked up tower. Um, this match is... Game one is definitely in his favor if he's able to manage Tron just because it's there's not a lot I can do against it. Uh, Prismatic Omen, this is huge right here because now I'm going to be able to escape shift on uh, I'll be able to escape shift a little bit sooner. Um, so what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and we'll play Prismatic Omen. Get him down to 19. It's irrelevant. Um, I should have went ahead and sacked the uh, Skura Tribe Elder there because then I would be able to, I would have been able to cast my second one, and then it would put me at six lands this next coming turn. But still, he's not going to hit Tron, and I'm going to be able to blow him out. Ancient Stirrings. Crucible? No, uh, Sphere. 
I don't know why I thought Crucible. I don't have my glasses on. I really can't read. Right, let's not make this mistake again. All right. And there's scape shift number two. So sadly, I cannot scape shift this turn. Because even if that had an under untapped, that's five untapped. And then uh, playing Steve here, I'm just going to tap for random mana with these. Yeah, so that was, ah, that sucks making those misplays. And he doesn't have Tron. And there's search for tomorrow. Mm, yeah, I just need the six. Ah, misclicked. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thanks to Prismatic Omen. Valakut, 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 Valakut. Stomp of ground. Cinderglade. No. And then... All of the Valica triggers ever. Don't don't make me click a man. This is thank you, thank you. All right, crumble to dust is a definite bring in. Um, as is nature's claim. Get rid of a bolt. Get rid of not a titan. A far seek. A colony heart. A search for tomorrow. I got crumble. I'm keeping. I got two crumbles. Definitely keeping. Keep. And again, he's not leading off with a Tron land. So this is good. This bodes incredibly well for me. We're going to go ahead, we're going to shock, <clears throat> and we're going to suspend. The, the matchup is that bad against Tron that I need, I need to keep him off of it. There's Titan. So next turn I'm going to be able to crumble tower or whatever his one of Tron pieces. And since I have Titan, I'm getting Cinder Glade. I need to collect my mountains. This is just a bad time for him. Nature's Claim 2. Or is this tower? Get out of here. Ah, oh, warping whale. Look at you go. Look at you go. It's all right. I got my second one in hand. Hopefully he doesn't have his second warping whale. Probably felt real good about that. I would too. All right, come on. Come on, what do you got? What 
wonder if he has Tron. I wonder if he drew into the mine. And he's thinking between like Worm Coil and Karn right now. Nope. I mean, he's definitely going to assemble it here. There's mine. It's got Tron. Tap for three. Expedition map. Crack. Another tower. He's, he still has two up. I got Steve. What's going on, Steve? Let's blow up mine. Yes! Oh, jeez. All four. Yep. Oh, that's so good. Ah, oh, such a good feeling. Okay. Yeah, it sucks. He just got rid of three stomping grounds. So I'm down to 10 mountains. <clears throat> but, I'm, you know, I'm happy he pulled it early. I got prime time coming down, followed by another prime time. One, two, three, four, five. <coughs> Sacrifice. And because he's already shown his one crumble, I'm sh just in case he's fortunate and he has both, I'm going to be pulling both Valakuts. Seven. Ooh. Ooh. This could be painful here. If he has crumble to dust, he can crumble the one. And then ghost quarters the other. So we got Colony Heart Expedition. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cast Primetime 1, or the second Primetime. Pull up a Valakut and a Mountain. And then swing. And... I will net more damage that way. Unless he just concedes. He does. And there we go. Uh, Tron 2-0. Boom. Alright, we got one more. One more match. Uh. Alright, let's do this. Last one. And then, and then we're done. So thank those for joining me so far. Currently uh, three and one. And uh, let's see how we do in uh, this matchup here. Absolutely, I wanna roll. I wanna go first. Try butter, try butter, scape shift, yes. And uh, 
play Wooded Foothills. We'll pull a uh, Cinder Glade. Ink Moth. Affinity. Okay. Fracturing Gust, Nature's Claims. And maybe a couple Angers. Men might. Ornithopter. Yeah, just, just dump your hand. A Vault Scourge. Yep. And what do I do now? Still going to play Sakura Tribe Elder. Because next turn then I'll be able to Tribe Elder into Search for Tomorrow. Or at the end of this turn I'll Tribe Elder. Steel Overseer. Sack. Grab a mountain. Uh, now this makes it challenging here. But I think I know what I need to do. Fetch would have been better there. Now you could have argued uh, the search for tomorrow um, then instead of the Connie Hart expedition would have been better just because it would guarantee me my primeval titan. Another steel overseer. And that's where it would have been better. So now, I don't think I have enough. I think that just lost me the game. All it takes is one misplay. Um, can I value shift here? What would I kill? I could. I could value shift and uh, kill off the two steel overseers. So with this, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to sacrifice one land, the mountain, and then I'm going to pull a valley cut for it. That's going to trigger Colony Heart, I'll sack Colony Heart, kill off the two Steel Overseers. Valley cut, okay. Yes.
So I'm only looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, takes me to five and four infect. Puts him at 23. Get a Valakut. Um, Vault Scourge, Ornithopter, Ornithopter. I'm going to get a Valakut and a Mountain. No. Galvanic Blast. All right. Okay, Vault Scourge. White. Activate. Galvanic Blast, I shouldn't have blocked. Now either way it would have been, that would have killed me. Okay. Alright. So we got Spell Skite. Connie Heart Expedition. Now, if only there is instant speed. Land dig in this deck. I'm at eight. I need a fetch. Or escape shift. So let's see, mountain count real quick. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got four left. Sacrifice two lands. Two? We'll do not three, just to be safe. Okay. One, two, three. No. Then all the Valica triggers. Ah, man. Whew. Oh, that was rough. I did not think I was going to get out of that one. All right. Fracturing Gust. Nature's Claim. Nature's Claim. Um, the 
goes out to use Colony. Search. Farseek. Um, I've heard arguments for Crumble to Dust. I don't think Crumble to Dust belongs in this matchup. Um, Anger of the Gods. Absolutely. Hmm. Two or three. I'll do three. And we'll drop. I need to get rid of two. And we'll do a bolt and another. Not a search. And a colony heart. Let's do this. I want to thank you guys again for joining me this evening. Um, please check us out at thesnapcast.com. I'm Rob. Uh, me and four others make up the Snapcast. What we are, we're just a group of podcasters and uh, magic players. We uh, grind the competitive magic scene um, all over the place. We have um, one in Illinois. We have myself down in southern Georgia. We got in the D.C. area, Hampton Roads, Virginia. We are scattered about. And... Um, we do everything we can to bring you guys the best, the latest, and the greatest when it comes to the competitive world of magic. You can check out our website below. We have a link, and it's also at www.thesnapcast.com. Uh, we have a YouTube page, which there's a link below. Um, it's youtube.com slash random letters and numbers. Um, we're waiting to get 100 followers, so then we can actually make that the Snapcast instead. So please, you know, follow us, like us, subscribe to us, all that good stuff. Um, here on Twitch, uh, we've just started this at 25 Twitch followers. We're going to be giving away a Chrome Mox at 75 Twitch followers. We're going to be giving away a Jace the Mind Sculptor. Um, and there's going to be more than just me playing recently. For the past two weeks, it has been primarily me. But um, as we're waiting for everybody else to get set up, we're going to uh, begin. Um, and yeah, uh, you're our EA right. You uh, just had your question answered. Uh, some of the cards, it all depends on what exactly it is that you want to play. As long as it was legal before, it is legal now. We're going to play uh, Connie Hart Expedition right now. Just because I'm going to have uh, my fetch. I'm going to have... Oh, Stubborn Denial. Okay. That's fine. I was not expecting that. Arcbound Ravager. So he's still sitting at 20. Um, escape Shift is only good at 8. So the uh, move I'm going towards right now is Primeval Titan. Master of the Ethereum. What does he got? Okay, so I'm just going to have to chump him. Those signal paths are just getting bigger. Block there. So 
sacrifice. Waiting for you, buddy. The big question is going to be, what can I kill next turn? Um, I can go for... What's he at? 8-8. Eight, eight. So again, right here, what I can do is I can go for value scape shift. Um, I'd be dealing 18. And I'd have six triggers. One, two, three, four, five. One of them would still be alive. I think that's the correct course of action though. I think that's the best thing I can do here. There's no cards in hand. Alright, so we're gonna shock. One, two, three. We're gonna cast escape um search for tomorrow into a forest. Then we're gonna cast escape shift. Three, four, five, six, seven. All right. I have to get Valor cut. So I have to put two on Master of Ethereum just to guarantee it dies. Um, we'll see how this plays out. So we sacrifice Master of Ethereum. And he's keeping Arcbound Ravager alive by sacrificing all of his artifacts. Yep. I definitely should have seen that coming. That's fine. I'm going to deal six to it. I had to do it that way, though. There's nothing else I could have done. All right. Uh, we're going to run it through again. Yeah, there is nothing else really I could have done there. Uh, Primeval Titan would have been a bad play because at most I think I would have only been able to kill one. And then he still had the three creatures with the Arcbound Ravager out. So not having the removal for him.
Shouldn't have popped a signal pest. Okay. So I just should have split it up three and three. Gotcha. Absolutely. Farce escape shift, spell sky. Let me keep this. Welding jar. Spring leaf. Yep. Titan. Second steel overseer. Valor cuts good. Steel overseers are going to get out of hand now. This sucks. <laughs> all the beats all right um it's gonna be mountain prime time then valicut mountain and I think really the only thing to do here is to get rid of a steel overseer But he'll be able to regenerate it anyways. But then next turn I'll be able to um, escape shift for the win. So that's the biggest thing. It's just I need to be able to ensure the guaranteed win next turn. Oh, I misplayed the shit out of that. I can't count. That's fine. That's fine. Ah. Uh, 12.03. Well. Not wearing glasses is definitely wearing... But it's no excuse. I should have had a better count on my mountains. Especially having that forest out there with, uh, with the one Valakut. I should have known I didn't have enough. Six, eleven, fourteen. Um, I don't need Titan. I have a second one there and I have Scape Shift. And I have currently one, two, three, six. Sacrifice six, bring out. 
Six with that, yeah, that's plenty. Wish I grabbed them all. And you're dead. And there you have it. Boom. Four and one finish. That's six packs of Shadows over Innistrad. A nice little season one championship series qualifier point and 120 play points. Ah, you know what? Let's go ahead. Let's let's open up these. All right, let's see what we get. Anything good? Anything good? Missed it. There we go. Bygone Bishop. All right, let's open the next one. Open one. Forsaken Shrine. All right, and we got, yeah, Diagraph Colossus. Let's keep going. Something good. Something good. There we go. And. I need to put my glasses on. My broken glasses. Uh, this is going to be a little much. Soul Swallower and the Geyer Reach Bandit. All right. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing the crap out of that. All right. So we're just opening up packs for those joining us. Uh, we just finished a mod league at uh, 4 and 1 with Titan Shift. Uh, definitely stay tuned next week. Um, be holding to the schedule of Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. I only have a couple weeks left. I am active duty military, and then I will be deploying here shortly. And I'll be gone for a couple of months. I might be able to pop in on the, excuse me, podcast, but that'll be the max extent there that you'll see me. Foreboding Ruins. And come on, Nahiri or Soren? Nahiri or Soren? No, nope. burn from within. Oh, and a Westvale Abbey. There we go. That's nice. All right, so again, thank you guys very much for joining me. Um, if you don't already follow our channel, please do, uh, just click down below. And uh, Once we hit 25, we'll be doing the Chromox giveaway. Um, Child of the Wild, thanks for uh, sticking around almost the entire time. Um, I hope you had a blast watching. Um, definitely check out all of the other, uh, I guess, products that you could say that we offer. At thesnapcast.com, facebook.com slash thesnapcast. We post everything, our Twitch alerts, um, spoiler alerts, and things like that that come up. And um, we do random giveaways on there as well. I uh, just gave away a second GP uh, promo Stoneforge Mystic. And that went to Dan Zorko out of the Hampton Roads area. So congrats to him. He will be getting that and some uh, some play math, or some uh, life pads and a few other things from the Snapcast. So again, thank you very much for watching. And I uh, hope to see you guys next week.